Hey all, Heber here. So uh, today we're going to look at how you can improve your stats. And uh, there's two, way of, well, two ways of going about this. One is uh, you can try to improve what you already have. Or the other approach, which is a little bit more radical, I realize, is to start over and, you know, just get started with a clean slate. That's not all this video is about as well. Uh, it is also a way of showing that if you want your stats to look good, you can do it. Like It's just a matter of playing the right ships at the right level and uh, that way you can uh, well, pretty much manipulate your stats into showing anything you want really. So uh, I wanted to play 100 battles in Hyaga on my PlayStation account, a new account I set up. Because I wanted to see how high can I get my average damage and my average kills. Uh, I didn't really think much about win rate in this particular instance here because if you really want to manipulate your win rate you should play in a division with good players that's the easiest way of doing that and that will also keep all your other stats up including average XP because in a division you will win more battles and you will get more 50% win bonus that will uh, you know count towards your average XP so uh, XP and win rate you should play in a division if that's your goal you shouldn't uh, go out solo but uh, damage and uh, kills, that tends to be easier to do solo because you don't have, uh, usually you don't have, you know, a hungry division with you to take all your damage and kills. So the reason I picked Hyaga is because uh, in this video here we are manipulating stats and we are not being shy about it. Hyaga is really, really powerful. It's at tier 5 where, you know, cruisers are just cannon fodder really. And, um, you know, it's a, it's a really good ship. And uh, that's what you want if you want to improve your stats. You only play the really good ships. I know that's really boring. So that means you play Hyoga at tier 5, you play Wooster at tier 7, you play, you know, at legendary tier. Perhaps Yamato or Conqueror as well. And uh, obviously Weimar and Mines. Those are the most powerful ships in the game, just off the top of my head. So uh, obviously you're going to do better in those ships. And uh, those are the ones that you have to play if you want to, you know, look squarely at your stats and uh, just throw fun and you know entertainment out the window so i uh, remember the whole point of this video here is that i am exactly the same player the only thing that's changing is the ship i'm playing the tier i'm playing at and uh, that's pretty much it so let's try and just compare the results here as you can see higher gas 60 percent win rate i did 100 battles in it and uh yeah that's pretty much on par with my normal hero account but let's look at the average damage here because that's what we set out to change wasn't it it's nearly 30k higher higher and uh, remember we played all these battles at tier 5 and uh, still we managed to get nearly 91,000 average damage it's one of the highest I've seen and we are almost within uh, Chili games territory here on average damage and it's purely at tier 5 Also look at the average XP again. This is played at tier 5 1682 That's actually higher than my hippo account So uh, I guess that we can bury another rumor here that oh when you play battleships You don't get so much XP as the other players. Well, that's clearly false or you know, whatever people use that for whatever narrative it is they want to take out there but as we all know all ships uh, average about the same XP overall at tier 7 it's a just around a thousand a thousand fifty doesn't matter if it's a battleship destroyer carrier or cruiser so if you don't get enough XP when you play a battleship it's probably just because you suck if we also look at the kill death ratio here then uh, that's got a lot to do with the fact that uh, I've played 100% almost 100% battleships here because they are the easiest class to play You don't put yourself in you know harm's way as much and when when you do get in harm's way you have a lot of armor So it's rare that you get sunk and uh, I mean the hippo account is mostly cruisers who live you know a pretty dangerous life Especially when I play them. I'll tell you that All right, let's move on to the other stats page here where we can see a little bit more in detail here it's still not as good as i wanted it to be i think wargaming kind of you know jumped the lowest part of the fence here but okay fine we'll uh, stick to it so the only thing here that's really what uh was i was aiming for it was the warships destroyed 
So uh, we got that up to uh, 1.7. Um, at one point it was actually more than 2, but uh, it kind of fell because I had a lot of potatoes in the last few battles. But anyway, uh, 1.7, that's very, very high. Also one of the highest I've seen. Um, and uh, all I did was just to play a powerful ship at a tier where it dominates. And that's it. I'm exactly the same player as before. I haven't changed anything. Uh, I just decided to manipulate my stats. So again, let's just compare to my Hippo account. So uh, it's my PlayStation account at the top, by the way. So uh, here, if you look at the warships destroyed on my Hippo account, I have like an equal one, which is just above average, I believe. And uh, like I said before, <laughs> on a uh, my uh, PlayStation account, I have a uh, 1.7, which is uh, very, very high. And uh, again, there is nothing different uh, in these two stat screens other than the ships I played. Like on the PlayStation account, I was, I was, uh, you know, consciously going f to be, try to manipulate my stats, getting the average damage up, getting the kills up. I certainly succeeded. But does it mean that uh, I'm a better player on my PlayStation than on my Xbox? No, definitely not. It just means that I know how to manipulate the numbers. And it's not difficult. Like I said in the beginning, you want to manipulate your win rate, just play in a division with two other very good players. That's it. And if you want to get your damage and kills up, just play overpowered solo ships. That's it. There is really nothing else to it. Okay, so uh, lastly here, let's just look at the medals, because uh, some people put a lot of, you know, trust in how many medals a player has, and uh, it doesn't matter at all. Uh, XP is what counts, but anyway. So uh, I played 100 battles in Hyrga, I got 13 Confederates, I got 45 High Calibers, that's roughly one every second battle, and uh, three Krakens, so that's actually not a lot. So that means uh, one Kraken every roughly 30 battles or so. Um, I'm pretty sure on my Xbox it's much better than that. I think it's one per 20 battles or something like that. But whatever, who's counting? And uh, so yeah, I mean, that's about it. 28 Death Strikes, pretty good. Now uh, come tomorrow, dissecting people's stats will be a lot easier because we're actually going to be able to do it on a per ship basis. And that's going to cut through a lot of this fluff and all of this uh, manipulation here that's evident all over the, especially Facebook. Um, and it will allow people to actually see more clearly uh, how well people play on specific ships. I mean, uh, so it's not like they have like, uh, what's a 80% win rate on Worcester and 40% on Cheshire or whatever and then the average win rate is 75 or something like that you'll be able to weed that stuff out now which is excellent we are still missing an ability to filter on solo plays and division plays and uh, while we're at it I would also love an ability to filter on maps and game modes so in conclusion I just uh, improved my average damage by a whopping 50% and uh, I almost doubled the amount of ships I sink per battle. And all I did was to play a specific ship at a specific tier and uh, boost my stats that way. That was it. I haven't changed anything else and uh, I'm the same player on both accounts. So uh, if anything, it shows us that uh, you should take these stats with a huge grain of salt.